Hey guys, Jermaine here, and I wanted to make this video just to kind of give a comparison between T25 and Insanity Max 30. Um, they're both short workouts, T25 being 25 minutes, Insanity Max 30 being 30 minutes. Um, I would say the main difference between the two would be T25 is more rhythmic based. You kind of have to have rhythm with some of the moves. So if you don't have rhythm, it's a little tricky at first. It takes like a week or two to kind of get used to the, the moves. Whereas Insanity Max 30 is more sports drill based and, you know, a lot of like push-ups, planks, things like that, which is in T25 as well. But the mentality is just different. Max 30, your goal is to max out. Your goal is to go as hard as you can for as long as you can. And the very first break you take is your max out time. So, if, for example, I pop in the workout, I'm doing it, I'm going as hard as I can, and then at 5 minutes and, say, 12 seconds, I stop because I, I, I can't go anymore. I need a break. I write that down and then catch my breath, jump back into the workout, and then finish it. So the next time I do that workout, I know, okay, 5 minutes and 12 seconds was my max out time. So you have to beat that, or your goal is to beat that last max out time. So... T25 is 25 minutes non-stop, but it, it's, your mindset's not like, I mean, you, you still go as hard as you can, but it's it's a different mentality with Insanity Max 30. Insanity Max 30 is you're going, you're going, you're going. You have that max out time in your head. It, it pushes you and forces you to do more. Plus, there are new moves and there are no weights. Whereas T25, in the um, second month in beta and gamma, if you choose to get that one, those two involve weights which is great, but one of the things I like about Max 30, which Insanity didn't have, is Tabata, and that's a lot of, um, it's very short rest, and you work your upper body or lower body with your body weight, and you do that a lot throughout the program, whereas Insanity, you did your push-ups, and that was fine, and squats, but it was really heavily cardio-based, and plyometrics, and things like that, whereas Max 30 actually does focus a lot on using your body weight. So you can still gain muscle, which is I like a lot because I, me being a weight person, I like to lift weights, I like to build muscle. So I really like that about uh, Insanity Max 30. And the moves are tough. Um, another good thing about Max 30 is for those who need to modify, they actually did a really cool thing where you can just watch the modified person so instead of watching the actual workout where it shows a modified person and Sean T's walking around going to different people and the camera angle is kind of moving, it focuses on the modifier. So you can stick with the modifier the entire time. Like T25 is the same thing. There's a modified person, but it's not always focused on that person. He walks around, it goes to different people, so you lose track and sight of the person who's modifying. So with Max 30, you don't have to worry about that. So I think that's actually a very smart thing that they did with this one. and I hope they do that with um, future workouts. If there's a modified version that they focus on that person because for people who need to use it, I really think it's beneficial. But that's really the main difference. You can't go wrong with either one of them. Um, I have not finished Max 30 yet. I'm doing it now. But so far, I really, really like it. And I I would say it's definitely more hardcore and it's a little more tough than T25. So I hope this helps and I hope you like it. If this video was useful, please share it. and. Have a good day and keep pushing play.